Hey guys, sorry about that. I had a little technical difficulty, i.e. the phone died. Um, number nine, support the social safety net. So I've read this in numerous books. It goes all the way back from Think and Grow Rich, Richest Man in Babylon. Anybody that talks about um, financial well-being also has a component of tithing or which tithing is typically related to, you know, has a religious aspect to it, but just giving back. And so support, so when he says support the social safety, now that can be donating money, time, um, helping out with your skills, you know, giving back in some way, you know, helping, helping out, supporting the social safety net. So whether that's, like I said, education, using your skills to help people, um, or actually a, a cash contribution, you know, that, that will mean more um, than just doing what you're doing, um, just making the money as being able to, to, to support the next generation. Number 10, and the most important, remember the index card. So that was pretty straightforward, right guys? We had 10 rules, really nine, because 10's remember the card. Nine rules, save 10%, 10 to 20%, pay off credit cards, max out your tax advantage accounts like your 401k and IRA, never buy or sell individual stocks, invest in well-diversified index funds, um, make your financial advisor be a fiduciary, commit to the fiduciary standard, buy a home when you're ready, get insurance, make sure you're properly insured, and support the social safety net. Those are the nine, guys. Hope that was helpful. If it was, let me know. If it wasn't, let me know. Google Google it. Uh, look at the index card. I know there's Forbes articles and there's all sorts of other articles out there uh, around this and uh, the index card methodology. And this guy's been around Spoke and had um, several other um, uh, several other um, adventures out there. Let's see, I'm gonna find the guy's name though so I can tell you guys. Uh, Harold Pollock, that's the guy's name. Harold Pollock, H-A-R-O-L-D-P-O-L-L-A-C-K. There you go. That's that's the individual's name. Google it. It's got Forbes articles, like I said, several other bits and pieces. But I hope this was helpful. And again, just remember, this is one way to think about. It. This is one way to think about personal finance. This is not the only way, but these are rules are pretty simple and they're pretty sound. Hope that was helpful, guys. See you next week.